Hello dear friends, thank you for joining me again for the reading of Proverbs chapter 3 and today we've come to verse 27. Different topic altogether. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. Do not withhold good for, from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. So it's a, a general call, I think, uh, to do good to people and help whenever you can, whether that's close to home or whether that's uh, on the other side of the world and you support uh, programs or organizations who help people in need. <laughs> I was reading it and to be honest with you, I thought, well, this is clearly one of the scriptures where we can see that Jesus takes it a step up. Uh, you go to Luke chapter 6, one of the most difficult chapters in the Bible, if you ask me. Luke chapter 6 and verse 27, it says, um, But to you who are willing to listen, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. It doesn't say do good to those who deserve it, but do good to those who hate you. And you should read that whole account where Jesus explains that if you do good to people who deserve it or who are good to you, you know, everybody's doing that. There's nothing special. But to do good to those who hate you, who persecute you, that's taking it a step up. So I found this a very um, interesting to read it here in Proverbs. Uh, do good to those who deserve it. Of course, that's, that's logic. But to do good to those who hate you, that goes beyond logic. That's supernatural. And we can only do it if the Holy Spirit helps us. So um, we can keep it short today. It, it's very um, um, good to think about this and to maybe check our own attitude and check our own actions. Are we just uh, treating the ones right um, that we, we uh, that treat us right, so to speak, or are we willing to do the opposite and treat the people right who don't deserve it in our eyes? Um, because that's what the Bible calls for eventually. So I hope you think about this and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.